Morning. Morning. This is not a test. This is not a test. Anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. That's a stinging right hand by King. Seconds to go here in this round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Good block by the assassin. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say, when you come in there with you and control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Good defensive skill with the block by Hurricane. That's where you want to be. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? He's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. He's thrown him from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. A crushing two-punch combo by the assassin. The assassin's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He has found his groove with his right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The assassin's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Halfway through this round here. He gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Get inside. Get inside. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. away mind 
looking right hand by the assassin. And that's the end of round two. Hurricane's going with a very efficient work rate in that last round. He chose his spots carefully, Teddy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, not just be overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing punches, but placing the punches, strategically putting them in the right spots. Good job. Number three is underway. <laughs> nice work on the right hand by the assassin. And now he's targeting upstairs. The assassin's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Side Just a thudding the shot there that he landed. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Brings the right hand. Come to the end of the round. Kings ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by the assassin. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. There he goes with the right hand again. Scores up top with a left. being hit himself. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Flush right hand to the head. to the head. Hurricane snap by a right big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. King's back 
back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. The Assassin's last round, a big one. He's where he thinks he can end the fight, and that's where it starts. It starts with anything. Any people out there doing anything, it starts with thinking, believing you can do it. King's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned to get in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. It's all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now, it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. Place left hand up top. Solid right by the assassin. Lands flush with the two punch combo by King. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Halfway into round number five here. There's a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice solid left hand scored by Hurricane. Assassin's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Solid left hand to the head. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And the round comes to an end. Hurricane's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, Adrenaline, and Thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy food. Nice block by the assassin. Really frustrating his opponent now. The assassin so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. He went in there and he tore apart that kitchen. And he just holds on there. It's tough to assess, but Hurricane's cut may look worse than it actually is. I mean, all the blood is spraying everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's exactly right. And you just wonder, and I know this isn't supposed to play in, but you wonder if the judges in close rounds if they get influenced by that look. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. 
like going the decision as you just touched on. Look at that! Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. we talk about the fact that hey at least he's throwing punches but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these no they're being blocked or they're missing they're definitely not landing clean and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively point of round seven. <laughs> Scored well upstairs with the right hand. <laughs> Scored well up top. <laughs> Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Don't stay in one spot. <laughs> He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. He's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. He gets off with a combination up top. Uppercuts on the inside. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Okay, now. Okay. Start of round eight. Teddy's got it a close fight. King's enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent's been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, though. He's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Solid right hand by the assassin. The assassin's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, you try to size up and kind of take it. Hurricane's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. But he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. seeing his own blood and it's coming from his mouth. Close the jam. Uppercut. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Right. Hurricane's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said.
Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Hurricane. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. He's hey, hey, acting like go. a desperate man right now. He was stunned earlier, now it's bombs away. Yeah, he's hoping to catch him. And when you're hoping to catch him, usually hope goes out the window. Hunting with the right. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. <laughs> the assassin's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good counterpunch by Hurricane. The Assassin scoring with that right hand. Excellent one-two by the Assassin. Last ten seconds of the ninth round. is upon us. That's a good block by King. To the head he goes with a left hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, show and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Top with the right hand. <laughs> 